Hello everyone, this is Miguel Greenberg and today I have a Flask Migrate tip for you. Uh, for those of you who work with the SQLite database, you've probably seen the common alter table errors that happen when you upgrade or downgrade your database. So I'm going to talk about those. I'm going to show you uh, how or in which situations they occur and most importantly I want to share a configuration option for Alembic that uh, that provides a workaround for for these errors. So uh, let's start by uh, showing you how this error occurs. So so a very common situation uh, that generates this error is when you try to modify or delete a column in a table. So let's go to the models in this application. This is a microblog from the Flask Mega Tutorial. So I'm going to use this as, uh, as an example application. So we have here uh, the, uh, the user table uh, or model. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to remove one of the columns. So I comment it out and save. And then I can say FlaxDB uh, migrate. Uh, remove about me and this works and if uh, we, we can open this migration and take a look at it and everything looks good so so we have drop column here for uh, for the upgrade path and add column for the downgrade so everything looks good the problem is when you try to upgrade so now we say flash DB upgrade to apply this migration and this explodes. And the reason here is that this alter table command is partially implemented in SQLite. Uh, only there are very few uh, options that, that work for this command. And in particular, nothing like modifying or removing columns is implemented and you get this error. So uh, let's, uh, let's delete this migration since, in, since it didn't work. Uh, so the uh, the other common situation in which this happens is the reverse of this. So let's say now I want, instead of removing a, a column, I want to add one. So let's call this about me too. So we're, we're going to add a column. So flask db migrate uh, about me too and this works and then in this particular situation the this one variant of the alter table statement is implemented so so this works fine and we got our new column in the table but let's say a couple days later I change my mind and now I want to downgrade and this is even worse because now it happens on the downgrade and I'm, I'm sort of locked in this situation where I have a database with a column that I don't want and I have no way to remove it. So so these are the two common situations. It not only happens when you remove but also when you modify a column. So um, Alembic provides an option to work around this issue and it, it's sort of a you know a heavyweight solution uh, the the implementation of this uh, workaround is to take the table the entire table make a copy of it with the column that was removed gone and then copy the data over to the new table delete the old table and then rename the new table back to the old name so so Basically, it, 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 it's a lot of work, but it's the only way in SQLite that you can achieve this type of modifications. So um, let's go to my application factory. So here, when you initialize Flask Migrate, you can enable this option, and it's called Render As Batch. So we're going to set that to true. And with, with this option enabled, uh, Flask Migrate is going to tell Alembic to generate 
migrations in this mode in which for SQLite things will be copied over to new tables to uh, work around this problem. So uh, we have we currently have uh, let's see history so we have this this migration that adds the second column is somewhat broken right because the downgrade path is not working uh, we're going to leave that for a moment uh, this option render as batch needs to be enabled when you generate the migration so this 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 migration is already bad and i'm going to show you a little bit later how to fix it so let's leave that alone for a moment let's go back to our deleting a column case so i'm going to put one more migration on top so i'm going to again delete about me and generate a new migration so if we now go and look at this new migration So you can see that now the generated code is a little different. So now it uses this batch alter table option. So this uh, context manager is going to generate all that copy table process. Uh, and it, it's only going to do it for SQLite. So even if you have it generated as this, uh, if you're using MySQL or Postgres or any of the others, then this is going to work exactly the same as the normal migrations. But for SQLite, it will do all this copy table motion. Um, so let's try an upgrade now. As you can see that now, now it works and the column is gone. Uh, at a big expense because we had to copy the, uh, the, the whole table to achieve it. So, um, the last thing, so, so let's say, so, so this is working, so I, I'm going to uh, downgrade this this migration to go back to the previous one. So now if, if I try to downgrade again, this one remains broken because it wasn't generated with the render as batch uh, option enabled. So what we can do is we can uh, we can hand edit this migration to use the batch, uh, the batch uh, code, so uh, we can uh, we can open the two migrations. So let's see. So we have um, F7. So F7e. I'm sorry. F7e, and the other one is nine eight. Okay, so what we can do now is we can take this two lines and move them here to this this downgrade. So what we need instead of doing this is we need to remove about me two, and we need to use the the batch mode code. Now, now it downgrades. So, um, so yeah, basically this is it. Um, I hope this is useful. And uh, as I said before, no problems with having this batch stuff in your migration scripts. Uh, if you if you use this this migrations for uh, for other database at there are other databases at the same time so so you, you can apply these migrations on sqlite and then this will be active and then you can apply them uh, the same on mysql or postgres and it, it'll work as uh, as it normally does without copying tables uh, so there you go I, I hope this is useful and uh, let me know in the comments if uh, if you hit any problems with this